what you're looking at, a beautiful, beautiful field of hard winter squash. We're down here in uh, Sutter Island in the Delta region, just, just south of Cortland, California. Uh, he's, uh, Dave Vieira is the farmer out here. He's grown several different squash out here. Uh, this is one you may have seen in the stores. It's called a red curry. And uh, so I thought I'd bring this over. Uh, here is your butterkin squash. Dave Vieira, come on down here and let's show, show him this squash. This is, uh, now take a look at this. Uh, it has the color on the outside of a beautiful butternut squash. It First does. of all, why in the world did you start growing this thing? You were one of six growers in the, all of the United States that was growing this when it first came out in 2014. And like this year, the, the only one on the West Coast, right? Yeah, the only one still growing it. And we're growing it for, for some specialty produce houses, but we were growing it primarily for Rayleigh's. They, they brought it to us and asked us to grow it for them. Wow. And one of those specialty houses down in Los Angeles, Melissa's, uh, they ship literally all over the world and all over the country. So your uh, butterkin squash is literally from right here in Cortland is heading all over the world, it right? Is. And they, they approached me. They found out that I was one of the only growers on the West Coast, and they, they came to me and asked me, can we get some? I said, of course. Why wouldn't I get, get some? They've seen it everywhere. Their chefs love it, by the way. Oh, I bet they do. Yeah. This is what it looks like, folks, in the, in the field. I'm, I, I've got one cut over here, so I thought I'd cut one in half. I want to show you what this looks like, and uh, so you can also know what to do with it. Now, Dave here was telling us that a lot of chefs, what you can do, uh, let's get uh, let's get very friendly with this uh, little butterkin. Uh, this butterkin, you can put the entire thing in the oven, just like this. You can roast it in the oven, just like this. Don't even have to cut it first. But I, I want to cut it and uh, and show you what it looks like. Uh, can you hold the knife? Uh, can you hold hold that? Yeah, hold that. Be hold careful. something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, wait till you see the color in this yeah. thing. Look at the color in there. You know, this little tiny squash probably weighed four pounds. You know what that means, everybody? This is loaded with sugar. Oh. It is loaded with flavor. Looks it like is cantaloupe. loaded with moisture. So if you want to make an... Oh, oh my you goodness. Okay? You know, I just had surgery. On, well, no, I just had surgery on my left knee, and I said, I shouldn't have been down like that. Yeah. That was probably not good for my <laughs> left knee. <laughs> my wife is probably, oh, no, he bent down. So uh, take a look. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So you can cut this in half, put it down uh, face in, in, uh, in a little bit of water, and bake it, roast it. But my goodness, uh, this butterkin squash. Are you going to have this at the uh, pumpkin patch, by the way? We will, yeah. We're going we're gonna to start harvesting them either today or tomorrow because they're just getting mature where you see that nice color. We're going to have them in the fruit stand at Dave's Pumpkin Patch for sure. There you go. So this weekend, you can get one of these. All right, back to you guys. That is great. It looks so vibrant. It looks like candle. I know. Go have a seat, by the way. Put some ice on your knee, kind of relax. You <laughs> bent down and kind of...